Uh, today I'm working on a 2016 F-150 with a 5 liter. It's got the 6R80 transmission. I went online to YouTube to find out some videos, what, what, how to fix it and all that. I went down the wrong path and I want to save you guys some money and show you what we found and it ended up being a $53 sensor. Uh, my son had codes PO340, 344, 345, 349 which are all cam uh, sensor codes. And then he also had codes 706, 707, 1702, and 1921, which are all transmission uh, faults. What happened is he went to go start his truck, it started up, he put it in gear, and then it conked out. Put it back in park, he went to start it, wouldn't do anything. Um, and then he noticed that on the park, reverse, neutral, the, that they weren't glowing, they weren't lighting up orange, whatever position he put the lever in. So we went on to YouTube and most everybody is changing the, uh, the lead frame, which they thought the, the sensor in here is bad on the lead frame. So we went that route. We changed that out, we put new fluid in, uh, did the whole transmission thing. We'll come to find out, this guy named uh, Daniel Skinner has a good web page. Uh, it shows a diagram of the circuit for the, uh, it goes to the cam phaser sensors and it goes to the transmission. He has a good diagram on there. I give all the credit to Daniel Skinner. Um, so we followed what he said. We followed the, uh, the diagram. It made total sense. There is a splice in the wire. It was not a splice problem. It actually ended up being a cam phaser sensor that was uh, shorted. It was bringing the voltage down to 0.5 volts. So I'm gonna take you through the steps on how to test it with a voltmeter to save you all the trouble of changing out the lead frame. Don't do that yet until you do these measurements. Um, I'll show you on the transmission connector which pin, it's pin 12. Take the transmission connector off, stick your voltmeter lead into the uh, pin. You'll need one of those piercing pins, not the regular multimeter lead. Connect your other end to the ground on the, the frame of the vehicle and measure for 12 volts and then unplug each sensor one at a time. You got four, four sensors, unplug one at a time until you come across the one where it brings the 12 volts back. So on this print that he has on his website, which is, this is a hard thing to find, here's your PCM. Here's the wire going to the uh, transmission. It's pin number 12 right there. And this is the splice that he was talking about on his website. But if you put your meter lead on pin 12 of that connector and then measure, do all that first before you change out this lead frame because that was not our problem. We have a new lead frame in it, new transmission fluid now, but uh, that was not the problem. It ended up being this cam sensor right here. So here's what it's doing. We don't have the park highlighted. None of this is highlighted, no matter where you put it and what gear. It's not seeing it from the transmission. Once we cleared the codes, all we had, the only codes we had left were the transmission codes. So that's why we went down that route of uh, changing out the lead frame. Uh, so I suggest getting your meter out, testing the pins before you go down that path. To remove the uh, transmission connector, it looks like it's in the four o'clock position. Just turn it up to about uh, 12, one o'clock position and then pull it out and it'll come out. Flip that lever up. Let's see if I can get where I'm at. Okay. On your meter, it's it's best to use a piercing tool like this. That'll get down into the connector. If you don't have that, you can just use a paper clip and using the alligator alligator clip to clip onto here into the pin. So I got 0.15 volts with the key on. And I'm in pin number 12 on this connector. It should have 12 volts going to that sensors. I unplugged the cam sensor on the driver's side and it went to 1.6 volts. Now we're going to move over to 
the passenger side and unplug the one that's up in there. All right, we got close to 12 volts now. We're in pin 12 on the transmission connector and the culprit is the top cam sensor up there. That one is shorted and that's why we were losing the 12 volts and getting the transmission codes. So I still have close to 12 volts with the other three sensors plugged in. I just have the one on the driver's side top cam sensor that's unplugged. That one is uh, shorted. Causing the voltage to go down to make it have a trans transmission code problem. Nice. Hopefully this video will help someone else out that has the same issue that we had.